Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Scavenger series. Last time, we were able to get ourselves Intelligence Center Level 1 upgraded, and we got ourselves the Scavenger Task Unlocked for Fence. And we're finally going to get our first one going today. Today, I have a few goals in mind that I want to try to hit. We need to get one more relay to be able to upgrade the nutrition unit, and we're also trying to get the vents and possibly also the shooting range upgraded as well today. So that's what we'll be focusing on for now. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? All right, before we start today, we got a few things we got to take care of. First of all, I did clean up the stash because it was full and we we're continuous again full as per usual. There's a couple of these things I'm going to probably end up selling. Like the MK3, I'll probably end up removing this because we're going to put the black rock there. So we'll actually move this up here for now. We're going to put the black rock down here and then we can stuff a full bunch of stuff. But beyond that, we got the grenade case filling up. We got the meds case, as you guys said, to just keep it. We got a quest stuff. This is already half full. We've already just gotten it. This one's completely full, of course. Can I do a sort on those? They're not going to work. Oh, nice. OCD is fixed. And of course, we have the cell case. I'm going to try to fill this up a little more for the, from this episode, and then we'll end up just selling all the stuff at the end because we don't need it right now. There's probably some tr some like craft stuff we'll look at first before we actually do any of the selling, and then maybe um, we can use some of it. If not, we'll just sell it all over to therapists and make some good old bucks from that. Beyond that, we need to go over to a trader because it's time to get our first task with fence, which is, well, that's not bad at all. We're going to survive three times going through the manhole. Easy. Just can't have a backpack. We get a Remington from that one. We get 0.2 on that for the XP. And we also get a power station unit. I don't think that's really useful, but hey, I'll take it anyway. It's our first one, so I'm very happy with that. So we're gonna go do our first task today. Hideout wise, let's see here. Generator, we can install that from last episode. Very nice. Actually. Oh, you know, let's go over to our character. I think I got fuel. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought I had fuel inside there. Over here, drop that down. The lavatory, we were working on the first black rock. Let's grab that. I don't believe I've got enough resources for the second one. No. We need a rip stop, and we also need to locate another Tarzan. So we'll be looking for those as well. So we can get that craft going. This should be a bunch of wires, if I remember right. It is indeed. Grab all those. And then, oh, that's right. Next thing we gotta do, we gotta go and do the the gym because now we're working towards getting strength level two which should be pretty easy let's turn the power on for a second i can't see anything let's get that going begin and hopefully i don't fail a million times because there's a possibility i could don't fail don't fail looking good looking good that's when it starts getting to the really really small one like i don't know how i feel that because i clicked the button Little hawk like that. Oh gosh. We're failing. Oh god, we're failing hard. We're failing. Yep. I don't know why. Some of those like I feel like I'm perfectly timing. And it's like, nope, you messed up. You didn't actually hit that. Which sucks. But as long as we hit these. Oh shoot. And we broke the arm. We broke the arm. Son of a gun. Let's repair the arm. One more time. I think I'm not going to get any XP for this, though. String. Yeah. It's done. We can stop doing it now. That's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. How close are we to it? Oh, no, we hit it. Did it say it? I may have just missed it because I was so focused on the, on the thing. Yeah, I probably missed it. That means vents. I need to now find one more of the... Car batteries, I need to find four more of the motors. This should be difficult whatsoever. I should definitely be able to find the four motors over on interchange. And of course, battery, just kind of getting lucky. The strength level two, good to go on that one. You guys probably also noticed too, shooting range. We have this one ready to go as well. We need to get some more screw nuts though, which shouldn't be a problem fine whatsoever. So we'll be looking for that. And we'll also get this unlocked, which is really, really nice. Intelligence center level two is like, way far off we're probably not gonna get that for a while yeah 
that may not even be possible actually i don't think it is possible because te technically speaking we need attention up and we can't work on attention without going into a rig but we're 2500 xp scratch that i gotta go down here eat some of uh, the tashanka get this one we'll eat the croutons drink that drink that and then we'll do 15 of this boom and then sometimes it just bugs out character skills 2300 xp look at that a little bit at a time and we're getting there so that being said i think that's going to be good enough for everything we're working on I'm, I'm just very happy with everything that's working out so far we toss all these in here but we're gonna head over to reserve we're, we're gonna do it three times though so we can get the fence quest finished so let's head over to reserve and let's do this oh no i saw this is gonna be a problem so you can extract with the manhole as a scab but the problem is you have to get lucky whether or not you're gonna get that extract or not so this may take us a few times to get this it will happen but it may take us a few times to make it happen let's see a look where we want to go first i think since we don't have the exits we're gonna search you first oh i already got armor never mind we're good i'm gonna take this though why not i'll take that we don't need the respirator i think i need one more half mask we may actually have all of them that we need but i'm check it anyway what weapon did you have though before oh, you had nothing Are you a scam or a PMC? I can't tell. I don't know what that was a scam or PMC. I couldn't tell by the look of them. Let's go check it out. What are you? Bro? I think you're a scam. Yeah, you're a scab. Yeah, he just acts super funky. All right, anyway, um, yeah, since we don't have the exit, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a relay, and then we're going to grab a bunch of food. We'll call for the first one, and then just pray that we get our actual exit. I thought about just, like, waiting until we had one actually, like, show up, but I'm like, eh. Then you guys don't really get to see the raid, but at least we can try to get the, new, the nutrition center up and running. Plus, we have a... We have a flare. Why don't we give it a shot? Why not? Let that come in while we do our searching. Should be too difficult. Like I said, we're just looking for a single relay and then, well, the rest is just pretty much whatever we can find. Plus what's ever going to be inside of that airdrop. So relay, where are you? I need you. Well, you're not a relay, but you are a motor, and I do need one of you. What else you got inside of here? That looks like everything. There's another room on this. I think it's this floor or the next floor. Oh, one more floor. Third floor, and then to the right, I believe. It's like over here there's a chance that it could be on one of like, the tables. Uh, not here. Okay, and then we just got some tubes. There is a box outside we can check, plus there's also the one down in the basement. Let's go check the one out front by the helicopter, and then let's go check out what's inside the airdrop. Oh, it's landing on the roof. I've never seen that before. It's kind of sick. Let's get on the roof. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave my loot, please. I'm trying to shoot people. Oh my god. Adrenaline, we got that. Might as well just take whatever we can get our hands on. Whoa, can't definitely can't take that. Take you. Defuel. I think we have the salt already. We don't need the salt. Oh boy, yeah, we got other armor. OPS gas, which I'm going to drop my sh Oh, never mind. <laughs> Someone grabbed it already. Where's my shotgun? Do you think I'll have a Damascus knife? A no, one? sorry, you already asked me over in the tower. Nope. Oh, I got you. Uh, there is, I think there's like, uh, like behind the white knight. I saw one back there, like on a dead scav. If you're, if you're looking right. for the knife. 
Possibly downstairs we'll have what we're looking for, so let's go take a look. I know they've got the tech box down here. Oh, hello. That's us oh, a scav. We're good. Just a bunch of scavs. We're fine. Let's search up the box here. All we need is just that relay. We can move forward. And it is not there, unfortunately. Take that, move that up there. But there's still some opportunities to find it. I know there's, I think there's some upstairs we can check. I'm looking at some of these other buildings here. But we're, we're mainly looking for food anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. Ooh, medical supply. What do you got? Never say no to having some for heavy bleeds. Check the medical here. What you got? Milk. Water. Need mostly food. Like we've, we've discussed before. We pretty much have access to as much like water we want. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Also, someone was asking me in the comment section whether or not I'm like like I guess identifying address and fence. I am, but there's like very far few in between items. Most of the stuff is already identified. So that's the only downside of that. What do we got here? Oh. Darn, I thought I was gonna get lucky and get a battery. I was like, heck yeah. A battery this early on into the episode? I will not say no to that, but clearly no. We got more stuff. We got pineapple juice. We got all the different drinks, all the fluids, but no food. Shock that I'll take you. Is there anything else in here? I could take the flakes. Yeah, why not? I'll take the flakes for now. We got a couple more. There's still that person shooting, and like I said, I'm quite certain he's up top. That's another scout. Alright. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute now. I see this guy. Who are you? Identify yourself. Nice. Okay. Man, this man was also looking for food. It's gonna be pretty suicidal to go out into the to the open, so we're not gonna risk that. But he also searching here. Are we ser he's literally searching in there now? Hey, never mind. I'm trying to think of else we go. Oh, we can go into the actual cafeteria. Let's go to the cafeteria. Sadly, no food. No food whatsoever. Okay. Well, we can go check to see if we can find anything else before we head out. Not really anything else we need. Uh, let's see here. We got the heating pipe. We can go heating pipe side. So we're a lot closer to that. Let's check for some medical quickly while we're inside this all this place. Was an office, but this is definitely not an office. And then we can do a quick reset and hope to get the next one. I think what I may actually do is. Cause I know obviously I want to get, I'm going to get the, into the, 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 sca the scavenger raids where I can get through the manhole. But I think what we'll do is we'll also go to interchange real quick and for, for the next one, just so we kind of break it up a little bit. Cause seeing the same map over and over is never fun unless it's, you know, on task of course. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to interchange real quick and see if we can find the rest of the remaining motors we need. Plus I need to find a, Screw nut and also by chance, hopefully find some more metal parts. Cause we're getting more of those as well. So let's get to the heating pipe. I think we're going to call it here. Well, isn't there a grenade case over here? Might as well take some grenades and just keep build building up the, the case itself. Looks like what that scab we saw earlier. Grenade case. There is. Aha. Okay, nothing in there, I guess. Um, let's check these. It was kind of a bust. I was hoping maybe there's a chance we could find a relay in there, but we didn't. I'm gonna guess this is where we got searched by the guy, but we'll check it. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's going through everything. Let's just set the heating pipe up and then let's set over the interchange. Okay, not a bad spawn, not a bad spawn. Since we spawned here, we might as well see if we can find that relay. Maybe we find inside one of these toolboxes. Uh, Buckwick, I'm gonna drop you. Now we do also need to get a bigger backpack because there's no way in heck I'm gonna be able to carry every single one of those and uh, motors. So definitely gonna keep an eye out for that. That wrench was far easier to find than all the other ones we were trying to find. Huh? What do we got? What do we got? D battery. Don't need you. Nothing on top of there. Okay. What about keys? We're still extremely lacking on good keys. It's one thing that I just have not been able to find during this series just yet, but 
Hey, maybe we get lucky here. Check this one. What you got? Nothing? And, uh, alright. Let's get inside the mall. I'm gonna try to listen up for some players, too, since we have, like, over 100 rounds. We might as well try to kill somebody. If we can hear somebody, like, shooting off, doing their thing. A, oh, this is a scat. I'll say, is this a player? But it's definitely a scat. Uh, ooh, can I? I can't. I can't. This is a, well, this is a different gun. We'll just take it anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to take, well, these 10 rounders or 10 rounders? Take that. Okay, I'm going to be fine with that one. Let's go, uh, let's go inside and see if we can find, like I said, a player. Find the motors we're looking for and go from there. A lot of dead scabs all on the way. This is this is a backpack of great, so we'll take this. Drop the shush, drop that. Take this. I'm gonna take this rig. It's a two, four, six, eight, ten, two. Three. Yeah, this is technically technically better. Let's take this. Drop all those in there. Well, maybe not actually. You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna take that rig. No, no, no. We're gonna keep the one we got. I was thinking maybe the slots would make sense on the side, but I forgot that it's a single, two individual, like, single slots, so it doesn't really matter. That's unfortunate. I'm hearing shots to the right. That's a big backpack. How is this randomly left here? Is this someone around here? That's really, really weird. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a list, like listen out for somebody. Keep looking for these motors in that relay. Can't seem to find them. Well, there's definitely someone shooting. Dead scavs. Hang running. That's above us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's above us. Somebody's crouching into the into Mantis. Guessing whoever's above us is a possible scam. I just saw the shadow, and I should have definitely not been able to see that. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I think that was a player. What's up, dude? Are you scab or are you a player? Uh, I'm a scab. What about you? I'll oh, bet scab. Uh, they got players in Mantis. There's players here? Yeah, them? yeah, in Mantis. You got the medical area right in front of us? Oh, I just killed him. I just killed him. For sure. Oh, that's, I think I saw one more though, so careful. Oh, that's a scab shooting at you. Oof. He's getting some negative scav karma. That may have been it then. Yeah, I don't hear anything else. There you go, bro. Just come on down. A lot of dead people in here. Yeah, I think he got them all, man. We should be good. Hey, come on down. I don't see anyone there. Loot this guy right here. All right, sounds good. I don't know if he's a scav. He don't look like a scav. <laughs> Looks like a player right there. I said, who? Wait, who? I guess this is the guy you was talking about. I mean, generous offer, but not really much to gain from this. <laughs> well, it's definitely a player. What the? Oh, you know what? 
hey yo real quick when you're done looting that up you want to um you, you want to take the extract together um i have the extract open downstairs i, don't, I think you can come with me no nah, no nah, i get stuck in there i don't like i was thinking oh, mine, 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 mine. the um that one's only for PMC, but we got the you can get like the scav extract, get you scav points and also a reward from fence. Uh, I'm done, I'm done. Come with this way. Sounds good. We're going off task, but this is fine. Also, that's the most annoying alarm in the world. I'm gonna take these off while I'm in here. That's so loud. Pew 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 pew. Let's see here. Hey, why not? I'll take that. I think he's just looting the loot. I'm going to let him do his thing. Anything you want to keep, or I just don't want to take something you're looking for? It. You can have the MP5. Alright. I actually am okay with that, because I'm pretty sure Pretty sure we need a couple of stuff. Uh, I'm going to check, like, take a look at all this stuff, because there's a chance I may need some of this for like, the task, for gunsmith stuff, so I'm going to take a look around. Actually, I think that's one thing. Mm, no, that's not it. But we'll take it anyway. Anything else? I don't think he knew what I meant when I said scav or uh, the scav or PMC. Um, I don't. I, I don't. All right. I'm gonna go check out the the guys. Huh? Yeah. Can you get these guys for me? Yeah, I got you. Plus, I can steal some of the loot too. <laughs> uh, he didn't have anything. There's a bunch of different scabs in here. It's okay. Whenever I can make the opportunity to extract, ooh, Tarzan rig, need that as well. Whenever I can extract with a PMC, I'm doing it. So this is completely fine. Uh, yeah, thank it. Might as well. No food on him. I mean, we can go get him food. We was literally just gotta go. Like behind us. Just realize also we can take that rig. No f that he's down there a little bit. We got food, please. Nope. Uh let's drop this real quick. Take this, remove this, drop this. Put that on there. I don't see any food. Oh, he killed them. That's right. This is the player he killed. I know I left the other contacts. Oh, there's some stuff for him. But that's fine. Those contacts are so loud. And I don't think we're really, we're not really like stretched for money at the moment. I want to take that mag because I may need that also for one of the gunsmiths. Flash drive. Nice. We haven't really found flash drives either. But that's really nice. Uh, he'll need this as well. Boom, boom. All right, where you at, man? I'm coming to you. I got you some stuff. Yep, got you a drink and then got you two drinks. Boom and boom. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take this over anything. That should, this should tend to... Yeah, let's get out of here. We're good. We're good to go. Um, because this will get us over 1.0 in the scab karma, which is awesome. So let's get the heck out of here. We can find motors when we go back to reserve trying to get the manhole exit. Level six strength. Very nice. We're getting a lot of um a lot of points for this, which is really nice. And the fact that we're getting people to extract with us, I love it. It's not happening very often. But especially like, yeah, if they're far away, they're not going to be able to hear me at the time. This one. Oh, run across from us. Yeah, rarely. I've I think I've only taken this one once. That's about it. This is awesome. I love it. Teamwork. I mean, he has really nice loot, but he would have definitely killed us if we would have tried to uh, <laughs> fight him. 
I'm actually glad he said something because I mean he obviously heard us. It's not we we're like sneaky or anything. All right, should be right over here. Oh, he's getting the XP. I gotta check the bodies too. Make sure I'm getting the XP from that. Bet. All right, man. GG. You fix it to cooperate. Back to lobby. Good luck, luck to you, man. <laughs> what a name. Back to lobby. Yes, indeed. That should mean we get 2.5. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Drop all this off. Yeah, 2.5. Let me say, yeah, that's really, really good. So, so nice. All right, let's try to go to reserve next. See if we can get the manhole again. Hey, we got lucky. We got the sewer manhole. Very nice. Very nice. Let's move. Oh, morphine. Let's drop the backpack because we're not going to be able to take this anyway. Now, the other thing I forgot to mention when we were looking at the scav tasks is that technically speaking, and I'll put it up on the screen here somewhere, if we decide that we don't actually like the task that we were we were given, we can replace it. It just costs a little bit of euros, which we can do a trade with skier easily. And then, oh, man, that's a 5%, 5%, 5%. Why is that? Why is it saying 5%? Do we get bit more XP for taking that extract? Mm. That's interesting. I'm going to go look at that in a second. I, I actually don't know about the tree next. So I've never actually taken them before. As a scam, I should say. That may be some interesting. But anyway, yeah, we can just replace the task and then it'll give us something else. It does, unfortunately, take 0 0.01 of our um scab rep away but that's fine it's not a huge deal it's just a little bit a little bit of points that we can easily get back by literally just going into the next raid so it just pretty much evens itself out i don't want to shoot him because i can't tell if it's a scab or a player it looked like a player but that's fine we are looking for a few items like we've been talking about i hope we can find the relay we just literally need a single relay. This is going to turn out to be like the... Well, hopefully it doesn't turn out to be like the um, the wrench. It took us a while to find it. That wasn't fun. But it took forever. Also realize this is an eight-rounder. Or eight-cylinder. Shocking. So that's pretty nice, actually. Let's check this out. Maybe we get lucky. Get it right away. We don't have to worry about it. I think there's a couple more places it can spawn. What's that? Oh, some machinery. Let's check this. I feel like we've seen relays inside of the inside of these cabinets before, so maybe we should check them anyway. It only takes a second to do, plus we only got a little bit of space to fill up anyway. 5.25 buckshot. Why do I feel like we've never used this before? Huh. Getting a lot of new new exciting things happening for us that we've never had have to happen before. Kind of funny. Also, everyone, like I said, keeps asking me why I take duct tape. I'm sure there's some use for it at some point. And at some point, I'm sure I'm going to end up dropping it. I think there's only a few more, like, things inside the, the hideout that we need duct tape for anyway. So, at some point, we'll end up getting rid of it. Did I search that already? I did. Okay. At some point, we probably will stop picking them up. But, hey, XP for the scav. Also, scav, it just being a boss, has a shotgun, has a hat. There's a shotgun hat, which we don't need, actually. It just has got, it's got his uh, sandals, bro. He's just ready to chill. Just ready to chill. Uh, okay. Let's go upstairs. Didn't find what we are looking there. Maybe upstairs? Maybe? Let's check inside this room. This is also a really good room that I need to check more often. Some sugar. PS rounds. New. New. The reason I'm saying it's because of these parts. I think I need that part. I can just buy that part. What am I saying? It's fine. Let's take it anyway. M1A. SS. I don't need that. But there's a lot of parts that like I may I may need for the future that I can find here easily. Especially if we don't hit level 15 right away. Uh, got that. Magnets. All right. Keep on searching. I'll probably fill up everything here. What's this? What's a mod X? We'll probably fill up everything up from the White Knight and the Black Knight. And then come right back in and hopefully finish up the last two sewer runs. So what we got here. Nothing in the grenade box. Nothing in the table. Because I'm also thinking like there's a good chance that we may need to start collecting some more armor. 
And there's some trade barter trees that are really nice for that. Checkpoint key. Technically don't need it, but it's money. I we'll guess we'll just take you know, these. Especially when we start bringing out the PMC for like certain raids. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely need to have good armor. Because right now, like, we have the gold mine where we're not actually gonna kill anything for the first run for for going for the Jaeger letter. So, yeah, gotta make sure that we don't end up dying. We got a ULAC, which is really good. The only thing we technically need to get. Oh, that's not a bad scope at all. Um, the only thing we need to get technically is better armor. But at the same time, we have really nice uh, trooper armor. So it'll, for the most part, keep us alive. Plus, I already have a plan for the most part just to live and not die <laughs> right away. There's, there's, there's a couple good ideas. I right, already checked this. Let's go to the garage. Hopefully we find something in here. Come on, Relay. Be our friend. Be available. Be available. Be available right away for us. I don't see anything there. Check the bag. Oh, there's a dead person. Well, all right then. Drop those down there. T plug. MRE. Another MRE right there. Get the XP from that dead guy. Someone opened this, so I'm gonna check it as well. Did I just see fuel? No, that blue caught my eye. I thought it was one of the smaller fuel containers. Ha! In here. Could check the, the grenade boxes here too. If someone doesn't want them, we could take them. I'll never say no to that. Unless they're all taken, of course, then I will say no to that. Alright, they've all been taken. Alrighty. We can go into the next, the next area, and then we'll get out of here. Probably good. Especially since we got to do this two more times, and I don't want it to take a, a ton of parts of the uh, of the episode. Considering we have a lot of other things we want to accomplish. Check this. Nothing in the duffel bag. Okay. What about in side of these jackets? Anything good? And nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not bad. Not bad. There's a couple computers here. Well, a computer, I should say, over here. We can check that too. Take the shotgun. Another eight cylinder, too. Worth keeping. Definitely worth keeping. And body armor. Now, nah, we don't need the body armor. Not that one, at least, I should say. Oh, check this. Ooh, graphics card. We can hope for a graphics card. Come on, graphics card. We need you. Or a DVD player. You know, there's that too. <laughs> there's that option as well. All right, let's get out of here. On to the next one. And hopefully we get another sewer, sewer hole exit. All right, awesome. We got the extract once again. Very, very good. And we got a bigger rig too, which is nice. We get some more stuff carried. Oh, here's somebody. Oh, scab. Okay. All right. Let's go try to locate the relay then. Since we're on this map, we gotta be able to find this dang thing, especially over by the tech buildings. I think we'll try like the middle building first and see if there's anything inside where the big tower is at. We'll check that. If we don't find it there, then we can go over to the school because the second floor where you drop out the window, a lot of times we'll have them, just like sitting on like the table there. So we'll check that out. Somebody's shooting their gun off over here. Try to keep an eye out for some players. Also, I realized when I was looking at the extract, I believe it's just you need to have certain points to take the train extract, which is weird to me. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but that's all that really meant. Doesn't actually give us any extra like scat points or anything like that. Check out. Trying to figure out that sound was closer or it was far away. It sounds kind of like it was kind of far away. But anyway, let's go find that relay. Well, there's no relay, but there's another Tetris. Now, someone brought up a good point that we could start holding on to the Tetrises and also, like, hopefully find more green batteries. Because if I do that, then we can turn those in later on to get ourselves a Bitcoin through Mechanic. And if we do that, then we can use those towards the other cases and whatnot. 
We'll probably get in the uh, whole thing and stuff for that just in case, so. It's a good suggestion. We're definitely gonna do that. Although I need five green batteries. For right now, at least. If I can find five green batteries that are on the, like, fence, then we'll, we'll not worry about them because we can just buy those five and then we'll be good to go. Very rare, though. I feel like someone's going to sell it over to fence, though. But because we need it for the upgrade on the rest area. Please rest area three. So we're going to need those for later for sure. Let's see what we got here. Did we get lucky? Did we get lucky? I do hope so. Come on, relay. D battery nails. We'll take those. Yeah, I'll just take it anyway. I got to find another screw. We'll probably go underneath as well. Check some of the toolboxes down there. See if maybe we get lucky with that. Just need that single screw nut. So we can get the shooting range up and going. Which should be cool. I have some things that I want to test out with the shooting range as well. Hey, look. Relay. Very nice. We'll talk more about that later on once I do, do some of my testing. But... It'll be interesting if they if it does actually pan out like I'm hoping it does. <laughs> Ow. My legs. My legs. Anything in here that's so decent? That is a broken G phone. Oh, no, it's a one G phone. Actually, I'll take that. Very nice. What else you got? Anything small that I can take with us? Because we're only going to grab a couple more small things that we're getting out of here. Drop the ammo. I can start grabbing the PSU units because technically I do need those. Yeah, we'll need those for later on down the road. What else you got? DVD player, don't need that. Train's coming in. All right. Yeah, we'll grab the one. PCB, grab the wires. Don't need spark plug. Not bad, not bad. Huh. We'll break the legs because that would just be awkward as heck. And then let's check some of these food storages. We still need to grab more food. Having that problem where we're consistently not having enough food to use after the raid. So need to get lucky to find some. Boom. Another one here. Oh, that's actually a good one to have. Let's drop the relay then. Or not relay. <laughs> no one drop the relay. Let's drop the recycling battery and then there's another one right here right there we go yep one more here there's also a medical crate behind us probably probably should check that actually strikes into shunka you know for now drop the pcb take that we're gonna go to interchange again at some point and there's obviously computers everywhere so we can just grab it from there. I'm hoping for like a cheeky Letix one of these days inside the medical supply. Okay, nothing there. Not a big deal. The other place we, we, we could go, of course, that's really, really good. It's, I feel like it's having more spawn rate lately for Letixes than anything. Is over woods. And we haven't gone to woods yet. As far as I remember, have we gone to woods? I don't remember if we have or not. Either way, we're going to be going to woods soon because... Over uh, at the USEC camp, there's a good chance of finding it over there. And I definitely want to start checking for Ludex. Just one of those things on the list of, of items that we need to collect, especially for the task for therapists. So let's head over to the hole or the manhole and let's get the heck out of here and try to get that last one we need. So that way we can get, we can turn this first scab task. Our first one of the series, many to come, of course. Hopefully, we get some decent rewards out there. We also we need to check the reward we got from Fence for extracting with the player as well. But we'll check that at the end of the, end of the episode, of course. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, cool. We can finally finish it up here. Got to grab some stuff, and then we can exit out. Also, the best thing about getting the scabrub up, we get so many more exits. I love that. It makes your life so much easier. So you don't have to go to like some awkward exits. Well, let's just see if we can find the screws though. Oh, hello propane, which I don't need. Um, goodbye. Yeah, because now that we got the 
Uh, now that we got the relight, now we're just working, working about getting the screws, and then we'll have to go over to interchange to find the last three of the motors we need, and then we're also going to be trying to find the battery. A lot of things we're trying to find today. A lot of things on our list, but it's completely fine. A lot of stuff today. What have we got? I think it's the first time we actually had to, like, kind of go in, like, a repetitive kind of motion, like, to just certain places, because we're looking for, obviously, certain items, so... Yeah, it's the first time. It feels kind of weird, but it's it's necessary. It's a necessary evil, as we all know. There we go. There's the screw nuts. We literally found what we need right away. I'm very happy about that. Because as much as it's nice being here, um, I kind of want to go somewhere else. Couldn't really need anything from reserve at the moment. Let's grab this as well. What else you got for us? Luckily, no one's actually touched the food, so this is really nice. Grab the squash, sugar, Tushanka. We're also about 1800 XP from level 5. We're getting very, very close, which means I also need to start collecting Tushanka instead of eating all the time. I need to collect at least two of them. So, I need to do that. Two of the Tushanka, which, perfect, I'll just save these two right here. And then two of the... Uh, I'm trying to remember the, the croutons. So we already have the lunch boxes. Those are all good and set and ready to go. This is for when we unlock Jaeger so we can do his first task for the turn in. So, need to make sure I hold on to those items. But to the exit we go. Alright, I figure we just check the PC real quick. We have an open slot and te technically we have also the ID Pro and we could throw on the ground. Wanted to give a quick check to see if maybe we could fill that slot. Also got the box over here we can check. Anything good for us today, hopefully. Hopefully, cross your fingers. Oh, we got something. We got some some mods here. That's not what I was expecting, but I'll take that grenade, I guess. What about inside here? You got anything good for us inside? I do hope so. At this point, I'll kind of take whatever. We got, yeah, we do have stuff in here. Nice. We'll take that instead. Military tube. Perfect. Drop the ibuprofen. Now, there's like a trade you can do with the ibuprofen. Or not trade, but like a, um, a craft you can do with the ibuprofen later in the med station. But we're quite far away from that stat, uh, that point. And just run around in circles, not get shot in the face. It's, that could be a bait bag. But that being said, let's move on to the next one. Well, this is an interesting uh, occurrence. I literally spawned in and there's an airdrop coming in. I don't know if this one's natural or if it's player one or not. But we're here, so we might as well check it out. And if we are the first one, cool. We'll grab everything we can and get the heck out of here. It seems like a natural one because I don't see anyone around. Quickly check it. Airdrop supply crate. Okay, it's gonna be one of these. This isn't actually bad. We could get a motor from this, actually. We already got the relay. We can take the metal part. Oh, nice, that's huge. That is huge. Literally, that's really big backpack. <laughs> Let's just keep searching, do our thing. Got something else here, another backpack? It's gotta be another backpack. Another backpack. Can I take both? I think I can, actually. Oh, no, I can't. No, no, no. I can only take one. Well, then we'll just take this one, then. Uh, don't really need this stuff. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Go! We got a big backpack, which is perfect, because I need one anyway, so I could get ourselves enough room for all the motors. So nice. I'll take that. Not what I was expecting when I first literally got into the raid, but hey. Very cool. All right, let's get over to Ollie. Ollie's going to have the best chance for us to find the motors. And we need three more. Three more, and then we also need to find a battery. Yeah, a car battery. So I got some stuff we gotta find. Let's go locate it. Okay, let's start from this side here, and we'll basically work our way around the back side. Um, if we don't find the battery here, we can always go check Goshen as well. Goshen also has a chance for us to, to, to locate him there as well. There's one battery, or not battery, but there's one motor. Very nice, very nice. There's a bunch of water filters, of course. Uh, if only I was on my, uh, my other account. 
be totally worth it right now and definitely not worth us to grab all this stuff right now it's just gonna it's gonna clog up space that's gonna take us a little while to get there anyway granted you know once we get to those certain levels like we pretty much have everything to upgrade the hideout anyway for those those extra levels needed for like water collector and whatnot so i mean it would be nice for later on but for right now there's no reason to grab it what you got screws green battery nice very nice yeah it's an extra one i think we're at like three three it's either three or four which is exactly what we're wanting no car battery here come on motors two more just be plentiful be plentiful and have every one of you right here so i can be done with you granted we can also go in the back side of the mall too there's also a chance for them to spawn there check along here we got nothing it is funny though because like you'll have raids where you'll have five or six of them and then you'll have the raids where you find a single one or you find none it's, it's interesting to say the least nothing spawning against this wall darn okay we here maybe nope i know they also spawn back here too Nothing, nothing, nothing. And nothing. Alright, hey, do you have a bigger rig for me? You don't, technically. I'm gonna take this brawler off, though. Because <laughs> it's kind of a... Kind of a whole, like, thing where it's gonna give away my position. So I'll take this other mask instead. What you got? Rat cola and some money. I'll take it for now. There's a bunch of dead bodies, actually. I'm just noticing that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Bunch of guys freaking out. Wait, no, it's a bank robber. That's underneath us. Hmm. They're going all the way out. Do any of these guys have a gun? You don't have a gun. You didn't have one. What about this other guy? Do you have a proper gun? I don't remember. No. What gun did you have? What'd you have? What'd you have? Ah, you had a gun. But some scab stole it. There's players running away to the exit have a chance if I can find a scab over here that's dead I hope he's got a rifle I'm not exactly going to kill anybody with this double barrel shotgun at least you know, from range I should say I'll see if we can go catch him though oh no I don't see any dead scabs here what about down below what about down below anyone dead down there not that I can see. It should be coming out to the right here. I still don't see any bodies. Nothing still. I gotta, I gotta get kind of close to the wall. See if I can locate them. Well, the scab. Where the heck did they go? They were definitely under, underneath. They could have ran past already, though. That's unfortunate. Darn, I was hoping to catch him. I was really hoping to catch him off guard. I feel like I would have beat him, though. Or they're still underneath. They could still be underneath. That's fine. Let's go back to what we're doing. Collecting the motors. And obviously, there's no more left here, so we're going to go over to... The back side of Goshen, and then also check for the car battery there as well. Well, sadly, I literally went down the whole length, and I didn't find any motors. Uh, we did find some fuel, though, and, like, some metal scissors, and I'll take that at least. Since we did not find what we were looking for other than just a single one, let's go and collect the rest in food then. Oh, hello. Need pliers, more money. Anything else I may have left behind? 
No. What do we got here? Little parts. We got some fleece. I'll take some fleece. Why not? Let's get a triple check it just in case they left something here. They did not. Oh well, yeah, we'll just grab the rest and food then. Always needing that for sure. And it won't hurt us. Won't hurt us at all. Hopefully there's a bunch left though. I also gotta do a Tashanka count. My Tashanka is literally everywhere, which is kind of the problem. I was like trying to figure out how much I need because I only need the 15 for the task. So I'm like, do I have everything that I need? I feel like I've collected enough to throw up all these runs, but you never know. There's a chance I didn't collect everything I needed. Is that could grab the max energy? And yeah, might, might as well max energy. Barg, take that as well. Anything else? Croutons. I'm gonna have to go also do my crouton count as well because I don't remember if I actually have three of these or if I have two of these or not. I will do my crouton count in between raids, obviously. And we're getting close. We're under 2,000 XP now. Under 2,000 XP until level five. So we're getting very, very close. A lot of croutons, though. If I didn't have them, I definitely got them now. <laughs> definitely got them now. We're gonna grab a drink here. All right, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's start heading towards the exit. What a strange raid. Super strange. We The only sounds I heard was the, were the guys that were below us that we were trying to find. And then nothing else has really popped off. I still have no idea where they where they actually went. That's the confusing part. Because they didn't have the scabs shoot, up, shoot at them outside, which means they didn't come this way. It's typically like the scab, like the one that's over there right now. But usually see them and start shooting up towards it, like in the distance. So a little weird, a little weird to say the least. Also, there were some peas on the ground, so I grabbed some peas. More food, more food. I figure we check the box over here, and then we can check the stash, and then we can call it good from there. And then maybe we'll do another raid. We'll see. And how much time we got left? We still got to get the two more motors, and we still got to get the car battery but car battery can definitely take us a long uh, a little while to actually find what about over here you know the map that we can also go check out is lighthouse because they have a lot of tech spawn boxes over there over at the water plant so you could find what we're looking for over there too plus also a chance for a military battery what i mean not a horrible idea a gun pp19 i don't know we'll see but time to go to the exit Holy darkness, Batman. We're on Lighthouse. But I couldn't just end the episode because we have a, v, um, or a VSS with a scope. So I figured this is no better time than the present to go and do some robes and hopefully get some other stuff along the way. So that's what we're doing. Run over to the rogues, try to kill them, maybe even some players along the way. I think this has got SP5 in it. Yeah. Not the worst. We can make something happen with it. So let's get over there and... Kill some players and some rogues. Um, well, I was on my way to the rogues and I found a car battery. Okay. <laughs> that's some luck right there. Well, that's one item I wasn't expecting to find, but hey, I'll take it. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, Tarkov, but that, okay. That's another car battery that I don't need. At the, I mean, I need it, but I can't carry it because I don't have a big, big enough backpack to actually carry it. Kind of funny, though, that we found another one like that. If we get another bigger backpack, I mean, we do have some exits that are all around us. So technically speaking, we could go back and pick it up. But we need a bigger backpack first and go from there. All right, let's see. Is this one up there? Nope. There's nobody on the turret there. Got shots coming from the mountain, though. So you gotta be careful about that. Is there one over here on the left, though? Mm, no, he's dead. It looks like a... Let's gonna take a shot, just in case. Oh, no, that's just metal. Wow, I literally look like I had there for a minute. I don't see anyone on the turret, at least from this angle I can't see. I'm sure when we get closer, we're going to see whether or not there's one there. It's, gonna be, it's very hard to see at nighttime, but I see a little bit more to the left because 
There are mines in this little patch of grass right here. And we do not need to be blowing up right now. I'm just going to literally just go all the way to the truck. Don't trust it. I feel like if there was a, if there was a raider there, I'd be dead. I'm not a raider, but a rogue. Oh, the gun is pointing forward. Oh, there may be one in there. Yeah, this is a little scary. There's no one. Okay. I was literally going crazy. There is nobody there. Oh, boy. Normally, the turrets don't face forward. That's why I was a little confused. Usually, they're like, they're pointing straight up. If there's not a... There's not a rogue on it. That's why I was so confused on that. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. All right, let's take this. Drop the tea bag. Someone's already been here. And it was a scab, too. USP, I'll take that. Grab a little bit of extra ammo. Which I know you got. Do you have medical, though? They have a grenade. I'll take the grenade. Duffel bag. Very nice. Let's go check out the other scav. Another scav. Another rogue and maybe see if he's got some bigger. Yeah, guy easy. What's up, dude? I don't know where he's going. I was going to go check that. Huh. All right. Ooh, that could be from the other side. Someone's getting shot from the other side. Mm, there's no rogue on that one. Oh, wow, there's no rogue here. Oh. Huh, okay. Well, let's keep moving then. Wish I, I kind of wish I had a flashlight right now. Let's keep searching. Man, rogue's got, or not rogue, the other scav's got way better spawn than me. If they're already, like, right at the spot they need to be. Oh, kind of hoping for a motor here. Let's oh, give me a hammer. Sledgy. Don't need a sledgy. We're currently done with that that part. Got trim it all. That. It's like one other place we could check for the motor that's close by. Oh well, no, a few other places actually. Bunch of explosions going off. there what about this one are we gonna get lucky oh we may right here maybe come on yes there we go we got a motor which means we need just one more oh gosh oh but if we find another one i kind of hope we can find a bigger backpack tragic if we find another one can't take it also be kind of tragic if i can't find a freaking Somebody's running. I gotta be a little bit cautious. There's obviously someone running up top. Nothing there. Oh, hello, roller. Glad I came in here. Ooh, someone hurt themselves. Interesting. Okay. We we'll go check the other one. The other building. See if maybe there's a chance of getting something over there. Nothing. So I wonder then if I saw the, sh the shots that I was seeing, maybe that wasn't a player. That maybe that was a scab. That might have been just another scab player. Nobody on that one. All right, let's go up top and maybe we can get something. I'm kind of listening out to see if I hear if I hear any uh, rogues like yelling out, "Scaps nearby" or something like that. Would like a bigger backpack, please and thank you. Bigger backpack would be nice. Oh, they already came up here. Oh, dang it, they did. Yeah, wow, they got they got up here real fast. 
Like they spawned a lot closer than I did, obviously. Drop the mask, take that. Yeah, like way faster than we did. Let me drop that, take this. Boom, boom, drop that up there. Huh. Well, unfortunate luck that we didn't get a better spawn then. Were you full? Oh, you know, you weren't fully looted. But I highly doubt you got anything good for us. I'll take some medical though while we do some more searching. That's just gonna be all mags there. What's this? Nope, don't need that. We also have like the industrial area behind us. We could check to see if we can find that last uh, motor as well. Especially now that we have the room. Another scav. What'd you have on you? Yeah, something. All oh, bandages. Okay. Debating. Do we go check the other tower? The other tower could have something good for us. And you got search as well. Man, they got, they got here. They, they looted everything already. Uh, it could have been players too. I can't rule that out. There could have been players over here. Just checking. I mean, I feel like if there is a rogue over there, I'd be dead already. I don't see anything. Let's go take a look at the other tower. Is that a scab inside? Bet. A scab inside. Oh, bet. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Boom, boom, Are you boom. A scab? I am indeed. Man's got a giant backpack. Saw it right as he was going in. I'm like, uh, huh. Do I be worried? Clearly, I don't need to be worried. I don't see any rogues up here, though. Any rogues? I don't think there are. Maybe some moonshine then? Give us some moonshine at least, Tarkov. Oh, there is one. And he's been looted. <laughs> As per usual. Well, it's actually... No, this is a room. Yeah. Dang. Tragedy, man. Especially with having a VSS. I was kind of... I was, I was like... I was ready for this. Sadly, people beat us. They beat us to the loot. Uh, let's go to the construction area then. I do want to check to see if I can find a motor back there. And then we can head to the exit. Well, it looks like the train's about to leave. Ten minutes left. to did the last beat for the exits. EPMO. Ooh, morphine. Gonna take some random stuff for now. Well, we missed the train. Luckily, there's an exit right here. So it does not matter. Just check. Never really lube this area before. Typically, I just I don't even come to it. Oh, look at that pig conditioner. Could use that, of course. Now, you have the field conditioner. Now, do you have the motor we're looking for? I do hope so. Oh, ooh, what's that? TNT? Oh, it's TNT. Okay. We'll grab it for now. I don't believe we need any more TNT for, like, anything. Maybe for some crafts, but that's about it. As far as, like, upgrades for the hideout, we don't need that. Uh, I don't remember any type of like quest that requires it. Granted, we could hold on to it for like a daily or something. Because daily sometimes requests to have the uh, the TP200. Kind of hoping that we're going to find one of these shelving units. I remember the last second, I was like, there are shelving units in the back there. So technically speaking, there is a chance to find it. Which is why we're here. On, just the hose, plexiglass. We have all the things in the world, but not what we're looking for. Please. I think Targov's gonna make us have to wait till one, <laughs> one more episode, which is not the worst thing. One, it gives us a little task to work on, and two, well, gives me something. To, well. We have something to do, but it's not like it's going like, to kill us to wait one more episode. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't find it. And I don't know of any crates in this area. There could easily be crates, but I don't remember any. 
I'm gonna keep searching around. If I don't find anything, I'll see you guys at the exit. Alright, we scattered everything. I even came back down here to because I know there was a bunch of uh, what do you call those? Uh shelving units. There's a chance I could find them on there. But sadly they were not. I've been searching everything. I got 48 seconds. I gotta go. But no more time for looting or checking. Time to go. Um, we ended up finding a military tube. What else did I find? Military tube, scissors, and some defuel. So at least it's something. But tragically, no motor. Still though. Good loot. Can't be mad about that. Well, overall, very good progress, so can't be horribly horribly mad about that. Nutrition unit. Let's get you upgraded. Get fours on that. And then a shooting range. Let's get you constructed. About an hour on you as well. Now that means with the vents, we need a singular motor and then we can get this upgraded. We're getting close. We're getting close. Now, vents, my man, I want to turn in the first ever task with you. Boom. Awesome, awesome. It's some of the most random stuff in the world, but hey, we get two bolt action uh, uh, snipers, which is awesome. We get some random ammo. We get some euros. We get some more fence uh, rep, which is also at 1.12. Coming along. And we also get the uh, substation key, which is it's all right. And then within 22 hours, we'll have another task as well to work for fence. So got a little bit, but not a big deal. Let's also collect our reward from you from that. Let's see here. Also, and then when we escape with that PMC, we got a manual. We got some more fabric, and then we also got some peas. Was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll definitely take it. Now, we're going to have to go and do some uh, working out in the gym and then also eat up some food for more XP. But right now we're at 1400 XP. If it stays like it's been, we're roughly about 250 to 300 XP every single time we do that. So it's better to be close to 1100. Very, very close to 1100. An offense, do you have anything I can quickly identify just to get a little bit more XP? Not at the moment. It is getting kind of hard. It is getting to that point now where pretty much everything has been identified. But I always check though. Once in a while, I do double check that. But that being said, I did say before we leave this episode, I was going to sell the stuff inside the cell case. So we're going to do that. And move this cell case out of the way. Do that. I should be able to just click. Oh, I have to do it after I open up the sell menu. That's right. And then all this stuff is literally just going to get sold. Because I checked to make sure a lot of the stuff isn't even needed. But we're just going to sell it, sell it, sell it. The skull. I may go back to the skulls. There's actually a couple things in here that I don't want to get rid of. Mainly like the Tetris and whatnot. Now, I know there's going to be some that are going to say, well, why don't you just save this for, you know, for later on? You could always just save like the Tetra or not Tetra. You could save the blood sets and whatnot to sell to the flea market. And if I do that, we'll end up like forever holding on to this stuff because <laughs> it's going to be a while. I think that's everything I can pretty much put in there. Yeah, I can't put any two slots in there. 1.3 mil from just that. Can get that in. Oh, can't get that in there. Uh, the other way deal boom I'll sell that and sell that and sell that tool set I can also sell the map I have to sell over the fence which I do not need anymore anyway 29k 29,000 but yet the man sells his for 93,000 what a rip off what a rip off and these GB coins and whatnot I'm going to save very nice we're at 2.6 mil not too shabby, not too shabby whatsoever. Oh, we got some things that I'm going to think about for the next couple episodes. We could get a dog's case, dog tag's case. And why not? We got the money. Why not? Let's spend a little bit of money, shall we? Let's move this down, move this up. I do have some dog tags, though. So this would actually clear up a little bit of space. Now, where did I put them? That's the question. Where did I put them? I don't know where I put them, actually. <laughs> Did I put them in a bag and forget all about them? The answer is probably yes. We have so much stuff now. I don't even remember where I put all the stuff. Uh, maybe in here? No? 
Where did I put the dog tags? That's fine. We'll find them because I have a couple of them. I know I do and I didn't sell them. So I will have to locate them at some point. Unless I'm blind. Oh, I am blind right there. Boom. Is there one inside of here? I swear we had another dog tag. It is. They're just so small that my, my eyes don't recognize them right away. Not bad whatsoever. We got everything pulled out of there. Bunch of stuff we got to sell still, but I'm going to wait and do that in between. But beyond that, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Good progress. Very good progress indeed. So, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. I'm going to pop up on the screen somewhere around here, showing you guys the skills that we're currently at for the scav, because I haven't shown that in a while. So check it out. And beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one.